another one. Was poppin', Kato was cool. Kato, I heard that you got it. I seen the proof. Neighborhood mobbing, boy, I heard you making moves and they could be lying. But way that they talking, I doubt it is probably true. I just been ducked off with Friday and jumping. They say they heard something, they ain't got a clue. We just keep moving like Tango. Going dummy hand donuts in the Rango. Hey, I be with my cap like Laszlo. March of 2009, I was a senior at Whitnall High School. I uh, had a teacher assistant class. Um, it's kind of crazy how, how, it, how it leads up to today to where I met Tyler when he was in the third grade and he wasn't your average third grader in regards to basketball. Uh, every day at recess, kids would do the norm of playing tag, running around, playing football, and just sitting around conversing with each other. Tyler was different. Even the kids that were playing basketball, Tyler was out there working on moves, um, trying to do things that adult kids were doing. And with him knowing that I was playing varsity basketball at the time, he always wanted to play me in one-on-one -on -one every day at recess. And at that point, I knew that he was going to be very, very special in the game of basketball. They talking, I doubt it is probably true. I just been ducked off with Friday and jumping. They say they heard something, they ain't got a clue. We just keep moving like Tango. Going dummy hand donuts in the Rango. Ay, I be with my cap like Laszlo. You be with the snakes like Rango. Ay, I've been that nigga since hockey. You the type of nigga like Stay Low. Ay, I'm a cool kid from Orlando. So you know I had to hit him with the wolf. Well, we about to leave out for Florida in about two hours or so. We, we taking a beastie trap all the way down there. We driving uh, vacation, but we not really on vacation, you know? We still gonna work. Yeah. Work so hard, forgot how to vacation, you know? Hey, y'all ain't on a crumb. <laughs> y'all ain't on a crumb. You hear me? Y'all ain't on a crumb. I gotta put that work in all ways, because if y'all ain't working, somebody else is. Of course, right. And you ain't never gonna get outworked under any circumstances, any level. Uh, I'm just trying to be top 15 in the country. Uh, obviously, everyone's goal is to be number one, but like realistically, I'm trying to be top 10, top 15 around there. Um, I think that'll qualify me to be, you know, the McDonald's All American game, Jordan game, and the Ball's Life game. So, you know, just being, being top 10, you know, I think that puts me in a great situation. Working out with uh, Brian Donaldson from uh, Five Point Training. Huge shout out to them. Uh, Besides my dad, I think they really extended my game to make uh, me better. Yeah. I'm running top 25 right Lately now. Lately I've been on the move. Maybe you should come and kick it with me. I think we can probably jump right off this road. And fly right through the city. She say, boy, you must be kidding. You a fool. She say, I'm going to say this one, so listen. I don't need you in the Man, working with Tyler's been a blessing. Uh, he's just uh, he's one of these kids that is, is very easy to work with. Um, he's a guy that challenges me to be a better trainer, obviously, because he's he's always getting better. I've been thinking about the road now, trying to make it on my own now. Mama telling me to slow down. Oh, I guess you think you grown now. Willing, always willing to uh, to put the extra mile. I've never seen a guy um, with a work ethic like him getting up at 5:30 in the morning, hitting the gym at six, um, putting through a full school day of lifting, and then shooting again after and getting another workout in. He does he does three days, six seven days out of the week. Um, God said take Sundays off, but uh, he doesn't believe in that right now. Um, secondly, uh, I, I know the Badgers are uh, are getting a, are getting a gem. They're getting a, they're getting a guy that's going to make their program better um, on and off the court. Um, he's, a, he's a great role model. He's got guys um, underneath him on his team, even his little brothers, I see him look up to him like he's, uh, like, like he's Kobe or Jordan or something like that. And um, he's just a, just a really, really good person. Uh, a, a really good basketball player, but a better person. So. This ain't no This ain't no DJ Kelly Snapchat. Number one, one them teachers used to ask Come in so early to Wisconsin. People were kind of confused, like, why why did I do this? I could have waited for Kentucky, Duke, schools like that. Uh, 
my dream school was Arizona, but you know, I just felt like being able to pull the trigger on Wisconsin early and being able to rep my hometown, and my home state, just means a lot to me. Uh, being able to play in front of my family, you know, like the guys like Sam Decker, who Bronson Koenig, who are from Wisconsin, and we're, we're able to put on for the state, you know, make it to the Final Four, back-to-back -back years, Sweet 16. Uh, everyone looks up to them now, so I think if I was in, in their shoes, being able to make it to the Final Four, rep, like I said, rep the state, you know, that's, that's just something that no one ever is able to take away from me. This summer, you know, obviously coming off an injury, uh, it's gonna be, it's gonna be crazy. You know, I can't even explain what, what's gonna happen this summer. Just a lot of, a lot of good talent, and you know, just being on the EYBL means a lot. Uh, the things that really I'm looking forward to are just being able to play against some of the top talent. You know, being, being ranked top 23 in the country, being able to be with some of those big names like Marvin Bagley, uh, Bull Bull, Sharif O'Neal. I just had a dream I won the lottery Then I woke up dead broke Yo, tell them they can't lie to me Cause I already know I already know I had a dream I won the lottery So, third grade I mean, I mean we were running y'all I think I had 48, you at 36, we're up 25. You're sitting on the bench crying. <laughs> oh, never. <laughs> yeah, then we fast, we fast forward to eighth grade. You're still, I'm with, I think, United, right? You're with uh, Playground Warriors. You play you, y'all in the NYTLA. <laughs> I was right. You were riding the bench again. I'm like, he really got sweeter. <laughs> he really got sweeter. <laughs> and then, you know, we ran y'all eighth grade, then we came back ninth grade, and, you know, we ended up on the same team. Right, you know, you know how to do that. I had to be like KD out here. Yeah. <laughs> you know, and I was like best friends out here just chilling, you know, just trying to make a name for ourselves, put on for this name. It's been, it's been real crazy, man. I, well, we've been through since we were younger. Uh, you know, there's a lot of guys out there that you that you play all the way up to, never knowing that you would play with them when you get older. And it was just crazy how me and Tyler uh, ended up coming together. and. Uh, Hopefully this friendship, obviously, it's gonna last forever. So I mean, it feels good to know that you met somebody through coming up when you was younger, just playing basketball. And that's where it comes from. Basketball is just not about the sport; it's about meeting people and doing, going through experiences that you that you wouldn't go through as a normal kid. Let me hear this. Let me hear what this is. What's next on the schedule for you? YBL, Indiana. Indiana, this weekend. Right.